hi good morning guys hope you're doing well i thought about filming a little december video because december is a beautiful month full of lights full of preparation for christmas so why not to do this and it's already almost 10 o'clock in the morning and it's so dark like oh my god so dark in the house and it's still very hard for me to wake up in the mornings you know like at seven or eight o'clock it's very it's still dark outside like it's black outside struggling to get up every single morning and yeah let me show you around let me show you what have happened in my life so far because there have been loads of nice things and yeah let's spend this time together this is how my mornings look like you can see it's very very dark in the house but I don't lose hope. Maybe we'll get some sun at some point. So guys, I'm now in the city center and oh my god, it's so lovely here. So to be honest, I don't really feel Christmas this year that much. But in here there are so many people, the queues are mental and you know, the decorations and everything are so beautiful and I actually can feel the Christmas atmosphere. So probably if you want to feel it, it's best to go to some city centers in your town or city, walk around and see all those decorations, do some Christmas shopping and enjoy your time. It's my first time trying a mince tart. To be honest, I thought it's gonna look a little bit nicer, but it's okay. And I wanted to get a mint latte. Of course, I wanted them to put me in a nice, beautiful cup, but I will drink it from a takeaway cup. And yeah, let me try the mince tart. <laughs> I've been living in Ireland for so long and I have never tried a mince tart, so I thought I need to be a bit more open-minded and try something new. So let me tell you what I think about it. First of all, the latte. Uh, I'm not a fan of mint, um, so I probably won't order mint latte again, but it was nice to try. Now, mint, hi. Um, what can I say? It's very interesting. feels like it has a lot of spices, some kind of cream, mm, some kind of raisins, and peeled fruit. So it's pretty tasty and looks like uh, a mint tart should have chopped beef. I'm not really sure if this tart has beef, to be honest. Mm, I used to feel a bit strange because like beef has to be kept in the fridge and stuff like this. But to be honest, I actually liked it. Most likely this one does not have beef in it. But even though it's still very tasty, very nice, and it has a very, very intense taste as well. So yeah, very enjoyable and yeah, I would probably order it a few times. And good morning guys me and my coffee i think i bought this cup for like one euro and 50 cents and i have it for like very very many years it's a lovely cup so yeah good morning this is our christmas as you can see very um <laughs> interesting so yeah hope that I'll be able to see some snow at some point this winter. Also guys, I got myself a very new and nice laptop. It was a present for myself for reaching 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And it's amazing because rendering videos became actually 10 times faster. So instead of rendering videos for 50 minutes, it does not it in five minutes. So my life became so much easier and I'm really, really enjoying this new design. Very lovely. So this year I have been also preparing plenty of documents. So I was getting them together. So 2021, 18, 19, 16, 17. So I have three big folders with documents here to apply for the Irish citizenship. 
Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if I will apply or not. I'm still thinking about it, if I need it or don't need it, because I already have an EU passport. Um, an EU citizenship, I mean, so it's not gonna make much difference for me. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of eligible to apply, so I thought that why not to apply? So yeah, I have to also cover some more documents, so I will probably have about four folders. I will need to go to probably a solicitor, so that solicitor has to sign um, a paper as a witness to say to confirm that these are actually my documents and then I should be able to send them over. Uh, there is another way I can actually pay someone to do everything for me, but just because I probably spent so much time, I almost did everything myself, I translated everything myself, um, I don't really know if there is any point of paying someone about 200 euro to do this. So most likely I will just simply put everything in a folder, get to a solicitor to sign everything for me, and um, yeah, I will send everything to the Department of Justice. I don't know if I'm gonna apply, I will let you know if I apply, and I can tell you about the process in case I'm successful, in case I'm not successful, I will not tell you. Uh, but yeah, I might think about it. I don't even have enough time to set up the lighting, so I'm just gonna use my lamp on the desk to film the ending of this video. And wanted to say that I did not film very much in December because it's been a very long month. It was very intense, full of plenty of things, and also I had to make plenty of decisions. I had to make plenty of research about certain topics and it was slightly boring but at the same time I did not have that much energy to film and to give to social media but still I wanted to film the ending of this video. Another cool thing that happened in December, well, I think it was either end of November or beginning of December, was that I had a call with, you, with YouTube. YouTube organized a call where we talked about YouTube shorts and it was actually pretty interesting because we got to ask certain questions, we got a little bit of information about shorts and what's coming up, and it was great to meet other creators and see other people as well uh, from UK and Ireland, and it was actually very, very nice to see some new people, so it's kind of lovely to connect with others who are doing the same thing. Uh, Jessica. Oh, nice to see you, Jessica. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, when will the full shorts features that are available on an iPhone be coming to Pixel? So in the chat, quite a few of us are finding using music from the shorts library makes our shorts ineligible. Interesting. Let me look into that. Let me look into that music piece. And guys, I know that today is the 1st of January of 2022 and it's great to start a new year and I'm very curious to know what's gonna happen in 2022, honestly. <laughs> and now we don't have any kind of stability anymore, we can't really predict things, everything goes up and down, up and down constantly and it's really really hard to even have an idea of what's gonna happen. But honestly, I do believe that 2022 is gonna be very good for all of us because we are going to make it good. And you know, I'm sure that even though certain certain things happen in the world, we still have the power to influence certain things in our own life. Let's try to make it a good year for ourselves. Maybe if we won't be able to make any huge, huge things, let's at least try to make some small things. But if we can, why not to risk and do those big things? To be honest, there is never gonna be the right time, so it's only about us to Mm, accept some challenges, to make some changes, to, let's say, to increase the standards and the quality of our lives. I'm very curious to know what's gonna be at the end of 2022. I hope it's not gonna be a disaster, but who knows? Let's see what is gonna happen. I wish all of us best of luck this year because we needed the best of Irish luck as well. So we definitely, definitely need it and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen this year. Also, if you have a bit of time today or maybe tomorrow and you want to see a bit more about my resolutions for 2022, maybe you want to get some kind of inspiration, you're very welcome to check the description box because I left a few links. 
uh, with a few videos about me contemplating on 2021, on making goals for this year. So if you want to get a, few, a bit of inspiration, you're very welcome to check those videos. Um, let's connect on Instagram as well if you want to. And yeah, let's put some effort and let's make this year a beautiful one. Thank you everyone who supported me and who participated in my year, in my life. It was amazing to have you guys. Thank you very much to my family and friends. I know that there is my family who is still watching my videos. They don't understand absolutely anything that I'm talking about, but they're still watching me. So thank you very, very much. I will try to make a bit more time to call my family. I will try to see my friends and family a bit more often. I'll put the effort to do this. Thank you very much for being with me, guys. I wish you best of luck, a beautiful year. Plenty of energy to achieve all your goals. Health, very important health. And yeah, again, happy new 2022. See you in the next video.